coffee is the most common fair trade product sold in Canada, and you're likely to find it in cafes across the country. But here at Coffee Culture in Brandon, Manitoba, owner Lori Versival is looking to add more fair trade products like tea and sugar to her menu. If we can offer one more fair trade product, then that's one more uh, producer in another country that we can be paid fairly for their work, that they can have a contribution to their community beyond just the uh, selling their goods. And it's not just at coffee culture will you'll find a push towards fair trade products in Brandon. Fair trade ensures the producers get a better deal. This means better prices and also a long-term meaningful trading relationship with producers. Brandon is campaigning to become the next city in Canada to receive a fair trade town designation. Mire Soret is part of a non-profit international development organization called the Marquis Project. She started the fair trade movement in fall of 2013 and businesses quickly jumped on board. This is actually made out of a nut, it's called a tagua nut. If more and more people make that conscious choice, then there will be more available and there will be um, hopefully a larger impact at, on the, the producers and, and the farmers and um, the artisans in the Global South. In order to receive the fair trade designation from the Canadian Fair Trade Network, a city must increase its availability of fair trade products and educate consumers. Around a dozen stores in Brandon are now selling two or more fair trade products, and the committee behind the campaign has started education products like Fair Trade Fridays. The president of the Marcus Project, he has a curling club, and on, um, on Fridays they would often go to McDonald's for coffee. And so during the Fair Trade campaign, the Fair Trade Fridays, and they would often have their games then, he's like, guys, let's go, to, let's go somewhere and get a Fair Trade coffee. Brandon's mayor, Sherry Dector Hurst, was an immediate supporter of the campaign. We um, have a large number of immigrants in our community who are coming from coffee producing nations and so that this is an opportunity to have fair trade uh, recognized uh, as it's important for their new community as well as their home communities. The Fair Trade Town program has acknowledged over 1400 communities in 24 countries. This includes Canadian cities like Toronto, Vancouver, Edmonton and even Gimli, Manitoba. Winnipeg is working towards the designation but we're still in the early stages. Zach Gross is with Fair Trade Manitoba, the oh, program Fair that Trade helps Manitoba. communities work towards the designation. Winnipeg is very emergent. We're right at the start, um, but there's a lot of interest. The question is, um, does it happen in the next year or two? Um, that's usually what it takes to get people um, organized. Um, Toronto's done it, Vancouver's done it, Edmonton's done it. No reason why Winnipeg can't. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Jessica Cable.